is an offer you can't refuse. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal proposing a zero corporate tax rate and personal income tax rate. That is right. Zip, zero, nada. If he can pull this off, Louisiana will join just a handful of states that already don't charge these taxes. But here is the catch. The trade-off might be a higher sales tax from only 4% to maybe 7%, although he hasn't committed to that. Will more states follow with the same plan? Our Money Power Panel weighs in Drew Canale, Chairman of Canale Trust, Lindsay Piegza, an economist with FTM Financial, and Dan Mitchell, Senior Fellow with the Cato Institute. Great to see all of you again. Drew, let me start with you. What do you think about this? Well, economics is all about incentives. So what the governor is trying to do is at least level the playing field on incentives for businesses and individuals to re relocate to Louisiana. So it all makes sense on paper. The question is, you know, what can he do politically? But economically, he's going the right direction. Um, Lindsay, I mean, let's talk about the economics for a second. Sure. The personal income tax last year, uh, he raked in $2 billion. So that's a lot of revenue to be giving up. He hasn't, I mean, the corporate tax was very low. I think it was mm -hmm. like half a billion dollars or something, or even less than that. It was a low number. Um, but he's giving up a lot in that personal income tax, for sure. There we go. Um, so I, I don't... I mean, I don't know. It's it's going to be tough. You make that up on a sales tax, that's going to be fairly regressive. Well, you know, it, it's the difference between that short-term solution and the long-term prospect. Right now, the focus in government, both on the state and federal level, has been this short-term fix. So really tax anyone, anywhere, in order to fill those budget gaps and maintain the status quo. Here's a very different kind of thinking. The governor is coming out and saying, look, if we can create a very favorable tax environment, we can bring in individuals, we can bring in business, and really see the local economy recover on a long-term scale. Yeah. So we start to see these more long-term trends in terms of growth, business investment, and hiring. Well, Dan, let's pick up on that point, because if you say that we need it to do more hiring, like Lindsay's saying, I mean, if you look within the state, their unemployment rate is actually low and has been falling. Right now, they have an unemployment rate of 5.8%. I mean, you compare that to the national average of 7.8%. Does it make it harder to make that argument that we need to not tax corporations because we need to bring jobs to our state? I think what the governor is looking at is the fact that he's right next door to Texas, which has zero state income tax. Texas has been doing very well in terms of job creation. There are eight other states in addition to Texas that don't have a state income tax. And I think the governor wants to make sure, as the uh, was just said, in the long run that Louisiana has a more competitive environment to create jobs, uh, to have higher incomes, faster economic growth. And uh, when you look at this evidence all across the country, it's very clear that states with no income taxes do grow faster and uh, have more prosperity uh, in terms of faster economic growth every year. I mean, the fight that he's going to have politically and otherwise, Drew, I'll ask you, I mean, is obviously when you mm -hmm. go from uh, a corporate tax to a sales tax that's incredibly regressive. I mean, that takes people that are making the least amount of money and, and taxes them ostensibly the same as people who are making a lot of money because we all go out and buy stuff. Also, you know, you're discouraging behavior. Anything you tax is what you're discouraging. Do you want to discourage consumption? Well, it encourages savings and investment, won't it? But the, the analysis mistake and what, what everybody else is talking about on this panel is you're, you're looking for total revenue to increase. So if you bring in businesses into the state, it's, it total revenue will increase. So all this static analysis about, well, if I eliminate this tax, I lose this revenue, that, that's not the correct way to analyze this. The whole thing that Jindal's chasing right now is total revenue to the state, and he believes through a more competitive tax structure, Louisiana compete with the likes of Texas and some of his neighboring states. And so that's what he's up to. And, and bear in mind, like we found out with our own national unemployment rate, sometimes unemployment rates is because people have left the state. Yeah. Right? So your total employment base has gone down. He wants to get that employment base up. Lindsay. But you're right. He does face... He does face a problem with their sales taxes. Sure. They're very and, and Lindsay, the type of economics that states. Drew is talking about, I mean, that has been thrown out at a federal level. Oh, I mean, sure. for sure, politicians in Washington don't believe that if you tax no. corporations and you tax individuals more, that it discourages economic growth. I mean, they would just say that Drew's insane. Oh, of course. It's a very different line <laughs> of thinking because right now in Washington, there's this drive to re really just redistribute funds from the most productive members of society to the 
least productive. Yeah. And that's what we continue to see. But so it's going to be very difficult to get this type of thinking on a federal level. But state by state, it's going to be much more easily implemented in terms of getting yeah. these pro-business versus yeah. pro-government policies. But it's certainly, I, I have to uh, continue to, to emphasize what your previous guest said and the, the idea that if we continue to foster investment, business growth, that's going to create more income and allow individuals to actually ramp yeah. up consumption and continue to bring yeah, in that state sector revenue. In, go ahead, Drew. Melissa, in the last fiscal cliff debate, what did we hear about corporate income tax rates? Just what we're hearing right now. Nothing. Yeah, they didn't change them. It was never on the table. Them. It was never discussed. And why did Washington not touch it? Because they know it's an issue of global competitiveness. So I they don't know. You're, the you're issue. giving them a lot of credit. Dan, I'll give you the very well, last I'm word because I think you. everybody in Washington, we may you. agree Why with Drew and Lindsay, but they think that they're insane. I think they just haven't gotten to it yet, Drew, unfortunately. I wish that I agreed with you, but I think they <laughs> I think that, that they're just licking their chops to get to the corporations. Dan, I'll give you the last word real quick. The Tax Foundation just released something today saying that Louisiana currently has the 32nd out of 50th business climate in the United States, and if Governor Jindal's reform went through, they would go all the way up to number four in the country. Now, I suppose we can quibble, maybe they'll only go up to five or seven, or but it would still be a dramatic improvement in the competitiveness of Louisiana, and it would be a sign that the poisonous yeah. class war for economics we're getting in Washington isn't being embraced by people who actually have to make their states run correctly. Yeah. Uh, it would be a big national political move for Jindal as well. Very interesting. Power Panel, thanks so much. You guys were great. Thank you.